Good day, God bless. Welcome to my first video, a YouTube video, and today we're gonna read together about the Orthodox Dogmatic Theology by Protoprista Bayer Michael Pomazinski, which is from Poland. And this book is mostly written about theology and yes, the Orthodox faith. So I'd like to start off this first introduction. So, sir, the sources of Christian doctrine, the concern of the church for the purity of the Christian teaching. From the first days of her existence, the Holy Church of, the, of Christ has ceaselessly been concerned that her child, children, her members should stand firm in the pure truth. I have no greater joy than here than my child that my children walk in truth. Writes the holy apostle John the Theologian three John four I have written briefly exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God wherein you, you stand. Says the holy apostle Peter and then concluding his Catholic epistle one Peter chapter five verse twelve. Catholic, meaning universal, <coughs> is the name applied to the New Testament apostles. Those of James, Peter, Jude, and John, which were addressed not to individuals or local churches, as are all the apostles of St. Paul, but to the whole church or to believers in general. The Holy Apostle Paul, um relates concerning himself that having preached for for 14 years he went to jerusalem by revelation with barbanas and titus and there he offer, offered especially to the most renowned cit citizens the gospel which he preached lest by any means i should run or had run in vine gal chapter 2 verse 2 instructs us in the thigh path that we may walk in the thigh truth is the first petition in the priestly prayers the prayer of lamp lighting the prayers at lamp lighting are the silent prayers read by the priests before the royal doors while psalm 103 is being read aloud by the reader in the first <coughs> divine service service of the daily cycle vespers the true path of the faith which has always been carefully preserved in the history of the church from, from of old was called straight right in greek orthos that is orthodoxy means in the psalter from which as we know from the history of the christian divine services the church had been inseparable from the first moment of her existence we we find such phrases as following my foot hath stood in the uprightness ps 20 chapter 25 verse 10 from before thy face let my judgment come forth ps chapter 16 verse 2 praise is meet for the upright ps chapter 32 verse 1 and there are others that apo the Apostle Paul in instructs Timothy to pre present, present himself before God, a workman that needs need to be ash ashamed, rightly dividing, that is rightly cutting with a chisel from the Greek, or to the mountain, the word of the truth. 2 Tim, chapter 2, um... Verse 15. In early Christian literature, there is constant mention of the keeping of the rule of faith, the rule of truth. The very term orthodoxy was widely used in the epoch before the ecumenical conchils, then in the terminology of the economic conchils themselves, and in the fathers of church, both of the West and the West and of the west side by side with the straight or the right path 
of faith. There have always been those who thought differently, heterodox or heterodox, and the expression of Saints Ignatius, the gold, the God beer, a world of gr greater or lesser errors among Christians, and sometimes even whole incorrect systems. Um, uh, which attempted to burst into the midst, midst of Orthodox Christians as a result of the quest for truth here occurred divisions among Christians becoming as acquainted with the history of church and likewise observing the con contep contemporary world we see that errors to which, uh, which, uh, which war against orthodox truth have appeared and do appear a under influence of the religions, b under influence of philosophy, c through the weakness and insultations of fallen human nature, which seeks the rights and justifications of the weak and weak weaknesses and inclinations errors. <sighs> and root and become obstinate most frequently because of the pride those who defend them because of the intellectual pride to dogmas so as so as the to guard the right path of faith the church had to forge strict forms of expression of truths and of faith, it had to be built up fortresses of truth for the rep revolution of influence for in the church. The definitions of truth declared by the church have been called since the day of the apostles, dogmas, and the acts of the apostles. We read of apostles Paul, Timothy, that as they went through the cities, they delivered them to the Greeks, dogmata, for to keep. They were ordained of the apostles and elders which were at Jerusalem, Acts chapter 16, verse 4. Here, to, here the reference is to the decrees of the apostolic conchil, which is described in the 15th chapter of the book of Acts. Among the ancient Greeks and Romans, the Greek word dogmat was used to refer uh, a, to philosophical conceptions. And B, to directives which were to be precisely fulfilled. And the, and the Christian understanding dogmas are the opposite of opinions, that is, in constant personal conceptions. <coughs> Three, the source of dogmas. On what, on what are dogmas founded? It is clear that dogmas are not founded on the rational conceptions of separated, separate individuals, even though uh, these might be the fathers and teachers of the church, but rather on the teaching of sacred scripture on the apostolic sacred tradition, the truths of faith which are contained in the sacred scripture and the apostolic sacred tradition give the fullness of of teaching of faith which was called by the a by the ancient fathers of church the catholic faith the catholic teaching of the church in such phrases the word catholic means universal as referring to church of all time peoples and places where there is neither greek or nor jew nor jew circumcision nor uncircumcision circumcision, barbarian, scythian, bond, nor free, but Christ is all, and is, and in all, call, col, chapter 3, verse 11, a celebrated definition of Catholic in the early church was given by Saint Vincent of Lerins, the 5th century monastic father of Gaul, who is in common the triumph, says, Every care should be taken to hold fast to what have been believed. 
everywhere, always, and by all. It is tr truly properly Catholic, as indicated by a force and etymology, etymology of the name itself, which comprises everything truly universal. Chapter 2, Fathers of Church, edition, P270. The name of Catholic has been kept from early times in the Roman Catholic Church. But the teaching of the early church have been preserved in the Orthodox Church, which even to this day can be and still is called Catholic. In many places in this, in this book, Father Michael will be contrasting the teaching of Roman Catholicism and the true Catholic or Orthodox teaching, the truths of scriptures and tradition, harmoniously forced together into a single whole, define the Catholic cons consciousness of the Church and consci consciousness that is guided by the Holy Spirit. 4. Sacred Scripture What is sacred script scripture are to, are to be understood those books written by the holy prophets and apostles under the action of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, they are called divinely inspired. They are div divided into books of the Old Testament and the books of the New Testament. The church recognizes 38 books of the Old Testament after the example of the Old Testament church. Although the church in the strict sense was established only at the coming of Christ. See Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. There was in a certain sense of church in the Old Testament also. Composed of all of those who looked with hope to the coming of the Messiah. After the death of Christ on cross, when he descended into hell and preached, Unto the spirits in prison, one Peter chapter three verse nineteen. He brought up the rithias ones of the Old Testament with him into paradise, and to this day the Orthodox Church celebrates the feast days of the Old Testament, forefathers, patriarchs, and the prophets as equal to saint of the New Testament. Several of these book books are joined to form a single book bringing the number to 22 books according to the numbers of letters in the Hebrew alph alphabet the 22 canonical cano canonical books of the Old Testament are Genesis 2 Exodus 2 Levit Leviticus 4 Numbers 5 Deuteronomy 6 Joshua 7, Jude's and Ruth considered as 1, 8, 1st and 2nd Kings called 1st and 2nd Emmanuel Samuel in the King's Names version 8, 3rd and 4th Kings, 1st and 2nd Kings and King James version 10, 1st and 2nd Paralopmana, 1st and 2nd Chronos. Chronicles in the King James Version, 11, 1st Esdras, Ezra, and Nehemiah, 12, es Esther, 13, Job, 14, Psalm, 15, Proverbs, 16, es Eslistes, 17, The Song of Songs, 18, Esthia, 19, Jeremiah, 12, 20, Ezekiel, 21, Daniel, 22, the 12 prophets, Hosea, Jewel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahuam, Habakkuk, Safianan, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. This is the list given by St. John, <sighs> the Messine, and the exact expression. Exposition of the Christian faith. P. 375. These books, which were entered at the same time into the Hebrew canon, are called can canonical. That these books, 
which were unturned at the same time. Word canonical here has a specialized meaning of with reference to the book of scripture and thus must be this this gun um this this thing guide from the more usual of the word in the orthodox church where it refers not to the canon of scripture but to canons or laws proclaimed at church conkills in the later sense can canonical means in accordance with the church canons but in the former restricted sense canonical means um, only included in the Hebrew canon and non canonical means only not included in the Hebrew canon but selected by the church as script as scripted uh, in the process that world the non canonical books of the Old Testament are commonly called the Apocrypha, often with the pejor pejorative connation, even though they were included in in the earliest printings of the King, um, uh, King James Version, and a law of 16, 1615 in England, even for uh, forbade the Bible not to be printed without these books in the Roman Catholic Church in the 16th century and non-canonical books have been deutrocanical deutrocanical EI belong, belong, uh, belonging to a second or later canon of scripture and the most translation of the Bible which include the, the end of the canonical canonicals books but in order of printings in the orthodox country there is no distinction distinction made between the canonical and non canonical books see for example the slavonic bible printed in st petersburg 1904 and proved by the holy synod to them are joined a group of non canonical books that is those which were not included in the Hebrew canon because they were written after these uh, the closing of the canon of the sacred Old uh, Testament books the non-canonical books of the Old Testament accepted by the Church, uh, Orthodox Church uh, are, those, are those of the Septuagint uh, the Greek translation of the Old Testament uh, made by 70, sco 70 scholars schoolers who according to tradition were sent from jerusalem to egypt at at the request of the egyptian king ptolemy ii in the third century before christmas to translate the old testament into greek the hebrew originals of the most of the books and most of the books and most of the books were composed only in the last few centuries before christ the non-canonical books of the Old Testament are Tabit, Yudif, and the Wisdom of Solomon. Elastiasis of the Wisdom of Joshua the Son. And that is it for today. If you would like to con continue reading with me, um <clears throat> you can go on my channel and i'll be reading it i'll post a second part probably in two days not sure but i'll try tomorrow if i could now god bless you and have a good day